Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you how we can go ahead and get into the system and get the hash passwords for our Windows 7 uh, thing. So as you can see, when I ran the Hasdom database, I have already received the password. And, uh, I did not even need to go ahead and crack that. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you this once more if you want but uh, this is how it works likely and as I told you that it gave me out the hash password but over here it also gave me out the exact password that was ABCD at the rate 1, 2, 3. So if you were not able to go ahead and get this password, if you had some uh, tough password which has multiple characters and everything, the need to go ahead and run the auxiliary A-U-X-I-L-I-A-R-Y run auxiliary slash analyze and slash jtr I believe it crack underscore fast run auxiliary analyze uh, fast let me just check if I have auxiliary slash analyze slash jtr underscore crack underscore fast and if you are able to run this you need to go ahead and run this command or you can also go ahead and type use over here but I don't believe that you would need to use that because when, when you go ahead and use the hash thing you already easily go ahead and get the password for that as I have got over here. So that's how you can go ahead and use this and once you have this password you can simply go ahead and gain access to that using a remote desktop or whichever you want. So but that's not it. There are many other things that you can go ahead and do. Let's say for example I have this test1 file and I have these two things over here and I wanted to run these two uh, as a let's say these two commands netstat and cmd. So I can go ahead and try to run those files from over here. Let's see where we are exactly. I am in system32 so I'll just go ahead and get back to let's see where I am. Okay I'm still in windows and I am in C drive right now so I'll just go to users and let's check we have the test user so I'll go to test user and I'll go to desktop perfect and now I want to go ahead and run this test one file so let's go ahead and check if I can do that resource space and so I need to go ahead and uh, give the test file so I'll just have text one dtxt so okay no such file to the txt uh, let me check test one okay okay uh, I'm sorry for that I uh, it's not uh, the file that we have stored over here uh, sorry for that and if you wanted to go ahead and run any specific commands from our computer that I had over here uh, then I can go ahead and do that so let me check the local working uh, directory I mean set so let me check I can just go ahead and create a new script over here and I can go ahead and run that for this computer. So there is one way of doing that let me check I have not yet tried that as of till now. So let's check test txt and I'll just go ahead and let's say uh, cmd and net stat these are two commands that I want to run. Let's see if I can run them. It is just test. Okay, perfect. As you can see, I ran all of these commands just by which I had written over here and I was mistaken it was not over here it was over here so if you want to go ahead and get into system quickly do what you want to do and get out then you can go ahead and already create a list of commands that you want to do and you can go ahead and run that through the meterpreter prompt so CMD did not work because I wanted I need, it was a need to go ahead and install uh, I can only run what is there inside a command prompt so that's the reason it did not run netstat ran perfectly and if I go ahead and let's say I write IP config and I'll save it if I go ahead and run the resource again I'll get the IP config file so and if I want to go ahead and read that directory so let me check okay I need to go ahead I'll just go ahead and okay back perfect 
Now over here if I want to go ahead and I have this ABC file. This is an awesome file and if I need to go ahead and run that I can just go ahead and type let me first check where I am. Yeah, I'm in desktop so I can just type cat and I can type over here uh, ABC to txt as you can see I have this is an awesome file and uh, any, any number of time you can run you will see whatever is there in this directory perfect now uh, okay so next thing that I would like to do is uh, I need to go ahead and upload uh, uh, something from my computer into that computer so uh, this is something that you would have you would want to do at the very start and not something like from over here so where I am doing right now after getting the system you would not want to do that so the first thing that I would like to do is to search where my payload is that is over here payload.exe I'll just uh, let me check okay, I'm still in SCT so I want to upload slash user share sct and payload.exe and now I want to uh, state where I want to go ahead and run that or upload that so I'll have to type the specific places name so I need to go ahead and insert that so I need to go ahead and type uh, let's say hey, wait I'm already there so I don't need to perfect I can straight away go ahead and do this so I'll just type c colon and let's say I want to go ahead and just need to go ahead and insert this later on. First, I need to insert the root where I want to go, and the name of the file would be, let's say, if I want to copy it into the C drive, or, uh, let's say I want to copy it on the test user that is the desktop over here. So I'll type users, I'll just copy it, or I'll just copy it from over here and paste it over here. And I can go ahead and see users, test user desktop and uh, the name of the file would be let's say I want to copy it to the desktop but I want it to be you no know, I already have a payload on desktop so I'll just copy it into C fine. So the name would be let's say for example uh, payload period uh, exe and I want uh, to know where it is exactly so I'll type slash user or let me check if I could just go ahead and type payload.exe okay come on no such file or directory c slash payload.exe that would be the file name Okay, sorry, uh, actually it should have been uh, the exactly the opposite. The payload should be over here and the C drive should be over here. Okay, perfect, uploaded. So let's go ahead and check the C drive right now. As you can see, I have the payload file. So similarly, you can go ahead and just simply copy it uh, to the... Uh, uh, startup drive of windows and it will run just perfectly fine if you want uh, to check where you want we are working right now so you can just type get wd i will show you where you are right now if you want to check which local directory are you in in uh, the uh, cal linux so you can type get lwd that's get local working directory if you want to change the local working uh, directories file then you can go and type lcd for our remote you need to type cd again mkdir mv you know and uh, all of these uh, most of these things are the same except that if you want to go ahead and port forward uh, or forward a local port to a remote service and you need to type port f uh, wd to go ahead and port forward anything if you want to go ahead and view and modify the routing table then you can go ahead and type route and you will see all the routing tables over here so port forward would be again be the same thing and zero uh, total local uh, ports forwarded because I have not provided anything to that. If you want to steal token of something you can just go ahead and type steal underscore token and it will go ahead and try to uh, steal a token of specific PID that I need to go ahead and insert and I can later go ahead and use that to create an impersonation token. If I go ahead and type suspend, it will straight away go ahead and uh, uh, delete or uh, sorry, it will straight away go ahead and uh, suspend the, our remote computer. Get is what I have told you previously. 
I can also go ahead and get the username of the current session but I can get UID and I am the system right now as you can see if I was previously the administrator I would be shown as the administrator. Now these are fine but there are still other things that you would want to know like killing a process you need to just type kill to get the list of running process you can just type ps or get PID to get the current process identifier or reboot to go ahead and remove the local host. But what if you want to go ahead and uh, edit the registry file? We can do that as well. You just need to type reg and that is the registry and whichever value that you want to go ahead and edit or enumerate you can still do that from over here. Now if you want to check uh, since how many time the uh, computer is still on you can just go ahead and type idle time and you can see it's since 2 hour 26 minutes uh, the user has been idle that means he has not done anything if I go ahead and do something like over here and I have just clicked and if I go ahead and type the idle time it's just two seconds because that means the computer uh, did something and went away again the PS person came now there are a few other things that I would like to teach you such as going ahead and getting a screenshot using a keylogger or inserting a keylogger in the person's computer but that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll teach you how you can go ahead and insert a temporary keylogger as well as a permanent keylogger and or how you can go ahead and write a keylogger in python and insert that into your target's computer and then go ahead and gain all the information that you need uh, about related to either it be a windows password or any his vmware's password either it be a gmail facebook or any of his important accounts uh, password or login uh, credentials anything so that would be for this tutorial